are you hope you all are well this video is created for english version class 9 to 10 physics chapter 2 motion in this video i will discuss about rest and motion so first of all we have to know the definition of rest and motion so that uh, this is an object that changes its position is said to be in motion and while the, pos uh, the opposite action causes an object to be at rest. So we can see that any, any object that changes its position we can say that it to be in motion and while the opposite action causes we can say it to be at rest. So we can uh, uh, we can learn the definition of rest and motion. Now we need to explain the the word or the term position. So what is position? If anyone asks you that, so where is the position of your school? And if you answer that, uh, suppose your answer is Jiltuli, uh, so your answer is correct but the position of your school remains unknown so in the term uh, in the term of physics it's uh, your position your answer is incorrect because the uh, position of your school is must be unknown remains unknown so if now if you reply that your school is one kilometer far from your gate of your house this position of your school also still unknown so uh, if the gate of your house is this point you must say that your school is situated one kilometer east of your gate east of uh, east of your gate so this point is your school so you must say that school your school is situated one kilometer east from the gate of your house this is the exact position of your school so now we can learn about position everything is said uh, respect to a point so uh, it has to be mentioned with respect to a reference point. Now the question is to specify the position of an object. Is it necessary for the reference point or origin to be a steel point? Yes, it's uh, very necessary. So if, uh, if it happens that actually you are sitting in a moving train, what will it then be a man outside of the train standing on the station will say you are mo in motion nobody as they eat at rest nobody is at rest then whose statement is true because you also say that the man is in uh, motion so whose statement is true your statement or the man standing in the station in fact both are correct the reason is if the reference point of the origin moves at the uniform velocity then we can tell firmly whether the reference point is moving at the uniform velocity or actually it is at rest and all other things are moving at uniform velocity in the opposite direction therefore we can say if an object if an object changes its position with respect to an origin then the object is in motion with respect to that origin now have an example that we live in the surface of earth in respect of us earth is earth is stationary but art is not uh, but actually art is not stationary art is rotating and we also rotating so 
uh, anyone can say that the center of the earth is stationary but you know that the center of earth is not stationary because it's rotating around the sun so now anyone uh, so now the origin is sun but our, another person can say that our uh, sun is also rotating around the galaxy so we don't find anything which is stationary so scientists say that you can suppose anything and which is stationary uh, so uh, we don't need such type of complexities for our purpose we can consider any point as the origin which seems stationary to us in this course we have to mention all the measurements are done with the respect of the origin in this way scientists have done all the measurements starting from nucleus of the atoms you know uh, a nucleus is stationary and the electrons rotating around the nucleus a uh, nucleus of an atom to the satellite launched in space with no problems whatsoever so you can understand now what is rest and motion you also see some examples now practice this uh, to, so please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon and please share my video with your friends i love this